Hi, my name's Sean from Sailing Vessel Makara. I've got a Lagoon 400 with Cruise Air Dometic air conditioning units on them. I've got four of them on board and one of them isn't working. When I power it up, it just blows the same temperature of air through the system that it uh, would despite me changing the temperature on the control panel. Um, so I'm going to just show you what the problem was and I'm going to show you how I've resolved that. And hopefully this may help you with any problems you've got with your air conditioning unit. So let's go and take a look down below. When I power up the unit, I hear the fan starting and I also hear the relay switch clicking. What I did notice though when powering up the unit was that the water pump wasn't powering up. So no water was being pumped through the system and exiting the boat via the exit holes. The air coming out of the system remained at a constant temperature despite me turning the heating on and then changing through to the cooling, so cycling between the two. I would hear the relay switch clicking so I knew that was working. You should hear a click from the system as you change between cooling and heating, but just make sure that you drop or reduce the temperature when setting it to cooling and increase the temperature when you're setting it to heating, and that way you should hear the click of the relay. When I tested one of the other units, the water pump and compressor worked, so I knew the problem was with this unit not activating either the water pump or the compressor. When the water pump was activated by one of the other units, the water still cycled through this broken or non-working unit. At least I knew then that the pipes weren't blocked with growth. What I had to work out now was how to get the compressor to start working as well as the water pump when the power was activated on this unit. You'll know when the compressor is working as you can actually hear it. You can also touch the compressor and you'll feel it vibrating. In addition to this the compressor will get hot. So remove the cover panel of this unit by unscrewing this little knob on the base. Once that loose, you flip out the bottom of the unit and the top will slide off. Now you have access to what you need. So this is the piece you'd like to remove and swap out with one that, another one that you've got in your boat. And test it out then and see if this will get your unit working. There are very small little screws on it so be careful when you take them out. You don't want them dropping down into your bilge. Just take note of your wire configuration on this chip as well before you unplug it all. You've got a yellow, a black, a purple and a white that are plugged into it. Make sure you just plug it back in exactly the same way again as well. After replacing this part, my compressor started and my water pump worked. The unit was functioning like it used to. If you like our videos and would like to support us, please take a look at our Patreon page. The link is in the text below. Your support will help us buy better recording and editing equipment and will also help us continue on our adventure. Today and the world is waiting Move along to the song singing in your soul Feel the beat, clap your hands